Hi everybody and welcome to Ugly Dog Lures. My brother Jay over here. Howdy folks. Down from Texas again. Come down here into the green chili state for a day or two. So uh, let me tell you a story of Jay. A little over a year ago Jay had a massive stroke. So uh, this is pretty good therapy for him to do stuff like this. So I want y'all to join in and uh, he's going to paint his very first lure. It's his style. I, I don't care what he does. I'm going to sit over there and drink my water and shut up. Unless he asks me a question. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> we know um, it's not going to happen. So uh, this is going to be pretty good therapy for him. He's recovering from his stroke. Uh, I think his hands and stuff are all working pretty good now. So uh, I'm just going to get my boring butt off of here and let him on here. But I want to wish each and every one of you. This will probably come out after the 4th. But I want to wish you a happy 4th. Sorry we didn't have a live feed. We had ugly storms. And the internet was pretty bad. So, uh, we'll be having a live feed this Thursday night. So, uh, no further ado, I'm going to move my fat old redneck butt out the way. Hang on. Got to leave looking at the camera. I'm going to use a, a ta uh, metallic purple blue pearl. Why don't you try? Or blue pearl. Introducing yourself. Yeah. That's the first thing. Goose already introduced me. Yeah, you need to do it yourself. Howdy, I'm Jason. Goose's older brother. I do mean old, too. Yes, I am. And I'm going to use a metallic pearl blue and a Volcart jade, smoky jade. Very pretty colors. You gotta mix it, Jay. Oh, you gotta mix it. Oh. Yeah, you gotta mix it. You gotta thin that out. They won't run through that pressure, buddy. Well, he's been watching me paint, folks, uh, and he's been wanting to try it out himself, so we're just gonna let him. Let him have some fun. I don't care what it looks like. It's his very first one. So everybody needs to give him some words of encouragement. <laughs> and it's good therapy for him. To, to come in here and do this and work on it. And just have fun with it. finger test are you? Yep, I've seen you do it too many times on videos. So I'll pay attention. I'm too poor to pay attention to this. <laughs> so we're having a big old barbecue over here today. We got poppers and ribs and chicken and hot dogs and other brothers cob. coming. Other brothers coming after a while. Man, I got both of them today? Yes. Wait, that means I have all three of you today. I'm going away somewhere after. Is that running enough goose? No, no. not fast enough. Melissa can answer that for you. It's about time to do a husband versus wife challenge again, folks. That's eh, probably blow right on through there, too. Tell them what you're doing there. I'm fixing to spray my paint. Pour it, pour it in the airbrush. And... <laughs> what scared me to death? <laughs> Better answer your phone. The paint will be fine. Does that Remember, back away, Jay. Okay. They're getting way too close. <laughs> 
We're putting it on way too heavy. Light coats and multiples. control. Don't stay in one spot too long, buddy. That's how you're going to learn it is to just learn it. Just do it. Set that day, you're best to get in trouble if you don't. Remember, light coats. Even if you have to put five coats on it, light coats. Expecting to see if I missed a spot. Let's see what I'm saying. Stencil on. Yeah, that's why I took the wooden driver. We're going to use the stencil. Let it sit here and dry for a little bit. Put it in front of that fan for about five minutes and it'll dry. Howdy, folks. I changed my mind about the lime green. I'm going to go with sepia. So that way, Lisa's friend at New Hope won't call me out on it. <laughs> Spray a little bit out on your towel, Jay. Just in case there's a little bit of cleaner left in there. So, folks, this is the first time Jay's painted. And he's learning. Now, back off from dry. Thin coats. Always remember thin coats and dry. I turned it off, Chris. Help him. So you're still having some hand problems, ain't you? Yep. Yeah, I could tell. It's spraying, Jay. I can see it from here. There you go. Heat set that and then pull your stencil off. Good there, little brother, older brother, whichever brother you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jay, stop. Now that you got your stencil off, heat set that again, and make sure it's good and dry. It's hot.
Mm -hmm. Still a little tacky. That ink would have stretched a lot. Take your sepia and do your back. Your eyes, what are you going to do with that? You know, close or far back? Trigger control. Remember we talked about that? Yeah, I know. Just barely be running to Without paint? No, it's still a little in there, but... Pull the trigger like all the way back. Coming out? Yeah. You just ain't getting it back far enough. You're the one that said trigger control. Yeah. Something you learned. <laughs> I promise you. Getting too close to that. Way too close. See, when you get too close, that's when it'll start running down the sides. Because you're going way too heavy and moving too slow. If you're going to spray heavy, you got to move fast. That's the problem that. I have. Yeah, same thing Melissa has. But for your first one, Jake, it looks good, buddy. It looks way better than my first one did. My first Probably one going to look way better than Chris's first one is going to look, too. Our Chris is going to get in here and use a patch of colors. All that and make it real pretty. <laughs> You're not a doctor, are you? <laughs> I just heard the Apache and started thinking about helicopters. Because oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you think about it, how many military helicopters are named after Native American tribes? Because they're bad bottomed fighters. It's an honor to be it is. that. The Comanche is another one. And the Blackhawk. Blackhawk is the meanest of them all. Ah, Blackhawk, Apache. <laughs> They're all pretty mean. So where's the no wife and tribe for helicopter? It doesn't exist. <laughs> so no wife and tribe exists in your mind. <laughs> where's Uncle Norman? <laughs> Yeah, that was Uncle Norman's thing. Oh, yeah. Well, everybody, for a man that had a stroke a year ago and is lucky to be with us today. You did a good job. You did a good job, Thank Jay. You. We're very proud of you. I got a story. Melissa took me to get stents put in my leg. And then uh, she had errands to run. I told her, go ahead, I'll be okay. I'm in the hospital. And the doctor called her and chewed her out for not being there with her husband. <laughs> Well, we have the same name. I know. We left all the way home. The look on her face, though. The, the look on the nurse's face was the yep. best. Because they were judgy little things. I wasn't there taking care of them. It's good enough to get a ride over there. <laughs> so as you progress along and paint, you're going to learn distance. You'll learn to control that trigger, or we'll get you that brush and that you have to set the back. Isn't that what mine is? Mm-hmm. What is it using mine? You're going to learn on the hardest brush there. That makes the rest of them easy. Mine's the hardest brush there. 
It's the one that never works right. That's because you don't know how to set it. User error. I'm oh, sorry, did I say that out loud? Very out loud, Chris. Ooh, you know what that goes real good with? Something else that I can't eat. Bread. For your sake. No, no, no. Just pork chop. Pan fried pork chop. Can't eat that either. Flour. No, no, no. Just pan fried pork chop. We're going to have to try that. I like apple sauce and pork chop myself. Yeah, no breading on it. Just make sure you finger it. Just put the alcohol in there and finger it. I did. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> You need to quit going there. I didn't do nothing. Thank you, dude. No way. Circulate through that needle. And that tip. Yeah, growing up, my folks never breaded pork chops when they made them. They just threw them on the... Threw it on a grill or in the oven and bake them. No, just even in a pan on the stove. Hey, yeah. Fry them up. Personally, I like to just spice them good. Throw some onions and bell peppers in the pan. Put them in there and put a lid on it. Let it cook real slow. In the oven? <laughs> on the stove? I'm going to try the air fryer. Cody did his pizza in the air fryer last night at Mom's. I'm wondering how it turned out. We'll have to ask. You. Okay, folks. I'll epoxy that thing off camera. What type of glitter, Melissa? Peacock. Peacock? Okay. Whatever color she wants. She's a boss. I'm the boss? Yes. Okay. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I did not mean to say that, but... You know, so we're very there. proud of Jay. Jay will be in a few more videos as he progresses along. Uh, don't tell him what he'll come up with to paint. When he gets a little brother, he wants to do a brother versus brother challenge. So, right now I think he needs to practice more. Yeah. I think Goose needs to use his off hand when we do our challenge. Everybody vote on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can do that, Jay. I know. You see, the thing they don't know is I'm ambidextrous. 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 Or whatever the heck that's I'm called. ambidextrous. You are not. I am too. I write left-handed, I rope right-handed, I piss right-handed. How many times have you seen me painting here right-handed, Chris? I don't remember. Yeah, so that's cool. I'll do everything right-handed. I'm probably not going to use stencil low on mine. So. Hmm. So we can end this video and y'all have a very blessed day and we'll catch you later. We've got to get ready for a party. Everybody have a nice fourth. Yeah. We done? Cool.